Okay, so in this video, we're gonna continue working with averages and we're gonna look at how we find averages from tables and grouped data. So we'll just do tables first. So I've got this frequency table here. These are the scores you get when you roll a dice. And these are the frequencies below. So ones have been scored four and two has been scored five times and so on. And we want to find the mode, the median and the mean. The mode, the mode is the number that is in the data the most. So that would be the one of the highest frequency in this case for tables. So that would be the 10 is the biggest number in the frequency. So the mode would be 4. So what about the median? The median would be, now first we'll see how many we've got here. So we've got 9, 15, 25, 33, 40. So the median is going to be between the 20th and the 21st. So we'll find out where that is. So that's 4, that's 9 there. That's 15, and this goes to 25, so 21st, the 20th and the 21st is going to be in this part of our data. So the median's also going to be 4. For the mean now, last time what we did is we added up all the numbers. And see how many more. We can write down four, four ones, two, five twos, and add them all up as they are. But the quicker way to do it is like this: just times by the frequency. So we'll get 4 plus 10 plus 18 plus 40 plus another 40 plus 42 and we'll divide all that by 40 and we've all already know how to calculate that bit we'll just add up all numbers and then divide by 40 so I'm not gonna do that I'm just teaching the um, new stuff there. So, these are our averages for this one. Now, for group data, these are weights and these are the frequencies. So this goes from 88 to 90. So these are different um, classes here of weights because they go to, from one to a particular measure so each class has got an upper limit and a lower limit because measurements are continuous data as we discussed in the first video. So. The mode again is just the one with the highest frequency, so that's 12. 12 is the biggest, so it's going to be 92 to 94. Because notice how this starts from 92 and then it goes on to 94. Next, we we'll want to find the median. So again, we've got 40 numbers in our data, so we'll find out where the 20th and 21st are. So we've got 10 here, 
and then this goes to 22 so 20th and 21st are going to be in this one and then we'll just basically take that to be the middle it's somewhere in that class but we can't tell exactly where so the best estimate for the median would be assume that it's in the middle No, actually take the lower limit of our data, which is 92. And then that would be the 10th and 11th of this data. So it would be in between that, so it would be 10 and a half over 40 times the size of the the class width, width, which would be two. So that would that would that calculation here would give for for median. So it's ninety three. Yeah, that's actually wrong. I don't have to rub us. I'll just have to cross that out. I know it's not very convenient, but I don't have to rub it here right now. And to find the mean. Basically what we'll do is we'll just do kind of the same as what we did before but what we need to do is we need to take the middle amount so we'll do 89 times 4 plus 90 times 91 Actually, that's 91 because that's the middle of the class. So that's 91 times 6. 93 times 12 because that's the middle of that one. Plus 95 times 10. Plus 97 times 6. Plus 99 times 2 and then we'll figure out all this big sum here and we'll divide that by 40 now because these calculations are hard and they take time I'm just showing you how to do it you could um, calculate this on a calculator or we'll just multiply all these little sums here then we'll add them all up, divide them by 40, which we already learned how to do in the earlier videos. Okay, so that's how we find um, data from group data and tables. And but now I want to show you what you would do really quickly if the for finding the mode if the classes are not the same width so look here the classes aren't equal because that one's 10 that one's 10 that one's only 5 and this one's only 5 and that one's 20 so what we'll do then is we'll calculate the frequency density of each class and that is the frequency divided by the width of the class so first one's 0.6 because that would be 6 divided by 10 which would be 0.6 and then the rest of them can all be calculated in the same way. So then what we'll do is we'll look for the highest frequency density and in this case that's 3.4. So the mode for this is going to be this class here, the 151 to 155. Five class. Okay, so that's how we find all these different averages from group data and from tables. Next, we'll be moving on to measures of spread.